semester at College of Charleston means conference play begins for the men's basketball team. I'm Katie Capas here at the TD Arena where I got to learn how the team is feeling going into these crucial games. Three games into the CAA, how do you feel about where you guys are in that mix? Oh, we're in the mix, just like we were picked in the mix. But, uh, you know, the preseason poll is, uh, I promise you this, how Hofstra's not the last place team. We'll be in every game, we can win every game, we can lose every game. So I, I just think the parity top to bottom is, is, is uh, you know, is very, very even. So it'll be interesting to see how it all comes out. Uh, somebody gets really hot, maybe Delaware doesn't get beat. Maybe they're just so good offensively that they, they, they kind of roll through this. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I don't, we don't see Delaware and Drexel until later, but uh, we're, we're right there in the mix. Now that you guys have started your conference play, how has the mindset changed in practice in the four games? Um, you know, I, I, it, it is funny where it, there, there's standings, there, you're, there's there's the, the pie in the sky that you're playing for, um, and uh, you know when you're led by uh, you know like a guy like Anthony Stitt who's playing really at a, at a very high level with his floor game and defensively and demanding from others. Uh, you know we've had really good practices and you know for the most part we're we're healthy, so that that helps things as well. I mean one one big thing as you go forward, uh, really important for every team in the country is just. You know, kind of trying to stay healthy, um, and that's what you're seeing, unfortunately, for a Drexel right now. Uh, better now for them than later is, uh, you know, they, they, they're, they're a little banged up right now. That's why you're not seeing the full, the full Drexel team. I think, guy, yeah, we're starting to find a fluidity and a chemistry on offense um, that, we, that has normally been there but hasn't necessarily worked quite as well. I would say uh, just guys getting in the groove, um, being in this offensive scheme for two years and uh, you know learning to play with each other really well I think has been a pretty key uh, part of that and you know like uh, we were watching film on the Northeastern game the other day and there were some times where you know we were finding guys on, on transition baskets on uh, kick out threes that you know we work on in practice and then when that chemistry and that fluidity builds it just it makes everything easier for everybody. The team is currently 11 and 10 and hoping to bounce back up in the CAA standings when they play William and Mary and Hofstra later this week. Cistern Yard Video is keeping you up to date with all the latest CFC sports scores, so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. For Cistern Yard Video, I'm Katie Kefes.